All new tonight at 530, shining the light on the danger of darkness. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Harris and I'm Paul Legrone. A call for action tonight. Residents telling us the lack of lighting on their street is making them a target. Our Lauren Rosella taking action, bringing their concerns right to the city and Tampa Electric. Lauren. So we're right here along 25th Avenue and here are two abandoned homes where people in the neighborhood tell me that there are just people hanging out. It makes them really uncomfortable because there's not a whole lot of street lighting down here. Now there's people in this neighborhood who say this is making it a whole lot easier for criminals to break in. Right now I feel like I'm a target. Burglars recently ransacked Limbana McNeil's home, walking out with their TV and tearing everything apart. Even though it happened months ago, I can't get over it. She's hesitant to go out at night because she feels it's just too dark. I can't even see, you know, that's dangerous. Somebody could be watching me. Crystal Fraser moved into the area near 26th Street and 25th Avenue two years ago. She's seen break-ins, drug busts, and people taking over two abandoned homes. People get on the porches and they're sitting there. They don't live there, but they're causing a lot of you know, ruckus within a neighborhood. She's gone to the city of Tampa and Tampa Electric with requests to repair broken streetlights and to add new ones. When she didn't get solutions, she wrote this letter to Mayor Bob Buckhorn's office. Then she turned to ABC Action News. This can be a severe security issue. After we brought this issue to their attention, Tico and the city of Tampa are now coming out to assess the lighting situation in this neighborhood. I would feel safer because then I could see my surroundings better. Crystal and other neighbors now hopeful for a brighter solution. The city and Tampa Electric already have plans to upgrade the entire street light grid from these amber lights to brand new brighter LED lights within the next five years, and they plan on releasing the schedule for that conversion coming up in January. Reporting live in Tampa, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.